So I have one more timing tip that I think has been really helpful for students, so I want to talk about that today. One of the biggest things people wonder is, hey, I'm kind of short on time, my exam is coming up, how do I still practice timing while also maybe practicing some new techniques? So let's say you are working part-time and you're able to do maybe four days of CARS practice. You can split your days up into two days of untimed and then two days of timed practice. So your untimed days are going to be the opportunity for you to try out any new strategies or techniques and see how it works out. How can you tweak it to make it fit your reading style? You know, kind of what works for you in terms of accuracy. Then for your time days, it's going to be like drills of doing these like strategies and techniques faster. So can you replicate it under a time condition? Are there new problems that come up when you decide to do it timed? And how can you do these strategies more efficiently? So let's say actually you're studying full time for the MCAT and you're going to study like six or seven days. You can split it in half the same way and do three days of untimed and then three days of timed. And if you're really someone who's looking to transition into hardcore time practice, let's say again, you're doing maybe six days of CARS practice every week, you can try to do one to two days untimed and spend the rest of that time doing a timed practice so that you really get into the groove of it and you know which strategies work for you and how to apply them in a time condition. If these tips are helpful for you, definitely comment some more questions, make sure to follow, and yeah, give this video a like. Thank you.